Mm, okay, show me that big purple bus. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right in. Of course, we will see increased encounters from the Room of Requirement 4, Wonders of the Wizarding World, Registry Page, plus the Whomping Willow, the Weasley's Flying Car, and the Faux Glass encounters increased. Using a tonic for trace detection will increase your chances of seeing the Whomping Willow and the Faux Glass encounters. Now reduce times across all Extimulo potions, that's the normal Extimulo, strong Extimulo, and potent Extimulo will all be cut in half by 50% which is what in half means. And they'll also increase the effectiveness of those master notes by an extra 50%. So if you want to during community day, you can grab a potent extimulo potion, you can throw all of those ingredients into a rental cauldron and with the master notes, brew that bad boy in one hour and 36 minutes, which is really, really cool. So I'm very excited about that specific feature. Now, Wonders of the Wizarding World encounters will be less likely to depart or run away. That's great news for things like the Faux Glass, things like the Weasley's Flying Car, and of course the Whomping Willow are all really rare foundables. And they run all the time on me, so it's really frustrating when I do see one finally and then it pieces out. So fortunately, they have lowered the difficulty for this specific community day, and I think that will be really beneficial to a lot of people prestiging their pages. Next, we have the dark detectors will be increased from 30 minutes to one hour like we have seen in community days past. And again, I'm very excited to get together with my community, go some high density in areas and stuff like that and try to get those foundables. The two most underrated features of this coming up community day, of course, are one, being spell energy on the map, and two, landmarks will actually be turned off. So if you have an area near you that is packed full of inns and packed full of greenhouses and fortresses and all of that good stuff and you're like I, it's like I can't go play community day there because it ruins the spawns well they've got your back this community day and I'm very excited to see how much more beneficial this is for community days when we're trying to do things like grind for those specific types of foundables there's actually one location in mine I go film there all the time I go play there all the time it is a Legends of Hogwarts foundable uh, nest or landmark area so it makes it really really tough to go and play there during any other time unless I want those types of foundables so I'm really excited to see that they're actually turning off those landmarks and their effectiveness in order that we can benefit and really really do some damage on these registry pages now to the quest the thing that you've all been waiting for the quest steps are as follows return five whomping willow foundables for one night bus fragment Return five faux glass foundables for one night bus fragment. Return 15 medium threat wonders of the wizarding world or higher uh, and you get one night bus fragment. Do you see where I'm going here? Do you see a pattern here with this? Return 30 wonders of the wizarding world foundables for one night bus fragment. Use two potent stimulos for one night bus fragment and use one tonic for trace detection for one night bus fragment, which is amazing because we've never gotten this type of reward before. We've gotten it in like brilliant events and like the end of quest steps and that kind of stuff like we can get little tiny pieces here and there for the brilliance but we've never gotten anything like this out of a community day and I'm very very excited to say that we will finally be able to get some fragments that we really need that are going to be guaranteed so you don't have to sit there at a fortress and just pound away at fortresses all day long and hope to God that you're like oh I need a night bus can you please give me one the great news is they are giving us six so nine is the magic number that is why you need to get up to nine if you haven't prestiged your first page on wonders of the wizarding world yet because nine plus six is 15 obviously you'll be able to place that sticker and get all of those things taken care of in order to prestige your page now i want to make sure that you guys are aware of that because you don't want to get to community day and have let's say 11 on your page already 11 out of 15 night buses so let's say you have 11 night buses you only need 15 to prestige make sure that if you go to collect these rewards you aren't wasting those fragments because if you collect all six of these it'll just be overflow and it'll be extra that you won't get to reap so if you have 11 make sure you only collect four of these six 
request steps. So that way you can prestige your page, get that all done with, and then collect the last two in order to prestige your page or to give your next page a little bit of a boost. So that's just like a, a pro tip there. So make sure you consider the overflow there when you are collecting those reward steps. After you complete all of those quest steps, you will be rewarded with three red spell books, 40 gold pieces, and 100 Wonder of the Wizarding World Family XP. Next, we have the premium pack, which you can get up to five, and they are 420 gold a piece, as is customary with a lot of these community day packs and brilliant event packs, there are 420 gold. And within those are five potent stimulos, one tonic for trace detection, one dark detector, and 15 spell energy so if you have the extra gold lying around this isn't a terrible deal uh, it's not like an insanely great deal but at the same time if you want the potence you want the tonic I you know you get energy and a dark detector with it it's not a bad deal so you get some pretty good value out of that pack as well I can't even imagine how many runestones are gonna be getting out of this event it's gonna be just like dark arts day and all that good stuff where you see runestones all the time maybe not as a reward so maybe not quite as many but you'll still have a ton when this is all said and done Done. which again when this all said and done is really great news because you'll be able to sit there and you'll be able to farm for your Hogwarts Express the Hogwarts Express sign on platform nine and three quarters and also the night bus which seems to be extremely rare I, again I've been sitting here for a little while and haven't seen too much progress I really want to get up to nine fragments out of 15 so I can guarantee that I'll prestige that page in conjunction with the Whomping Willow and the Weasley's flying car those are some of the hardest foundables to find and they all live on that one page so I'm very excited about this particular community day I'm excited for the rewards I'm excited for the gameplay and I can't wait to go hang out with some of my friends and just throw dark detectors down everywhere and you know just go bananas with this thing I will say that there is one particular con with this event and that that is there's no Barufio's Brain Elixirs boost. So nothing too crazy is happening with XP, but again, they are giving us this huge XP event right now with the Frosty Foundables. And I know that this is probably going to come out right before the end of that. So if you haven't taken advantage of that, I actually just casually was did like a 30 minute stroll and I got around 50,000 to 60,000 XP. And that's not even that impressive, honestly, like that's not that crazy. There are people doing insane numbers right now so seriously make sure you're taking advantage of this event that is going on right now because it's incredible I actually finally graduated to level 36 after what feels like being stuck on 35 for an eternity so hopefully we can keep this train rolling and keep grinding and getting some XP getting those runestones and all those foundables that we need to prestige those pages guys let me know what you think down below is this an exciting community day are you excited for this particular community day are you not excited for this community day um, I know I am I really am I enjoy these types of events and I love seeing boosted spawns of anything because it's how we're going to prestige those pages that are really really tough um, I need to go grind some Quidditch stands too so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go but make sure before you leave to leave a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button down below and ring the bell because it really does help out the channel I appreciate each and every one of you and until next time Peace.